Now again, let me begin reading at verse 16. It's the day of the trumpet, an alarm against the fortified cities and against the high towers. It is here, he says, a day of the trumpet. Now when God gave to the nation Israel the trumpets that they were to blow on the wilderness march. They were to be used in other ways. For instance, when you blow an alarm, he says. In other words, that an alarm was sounded when the enemy came upon them. And in verse 9 of chapter 10 of Numbers, having mentioned the different ways the two silver trumpets were to be used, he says, And if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Now here, it's the day of the trumpet. They're going to blow the alarm, but God doesn't intend to deliver them. Why? He intends to judge them. He intends to deliver them over to the enemy and not deliver them from the enemy. And so it's a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fortified cities and against the high towers. Now God says in verse 17, And I will bring distress upon men, that they shall walk like blind men, because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out like dust, and their flesh like the dung. Now, that's extreme. I grant you it's extreme. But, you know, surgery today is that way. When my doctor operated on me the first time for cancer, he told me afterward, I was asking him about the operation, and he said, well, you know, he says, I kept cutting away as much as I could, and he says, I wasn't sure that after I'd cut so much away, which pile was you? and I had to stop. Well, may I say to you, that's a pretty harsh thing to cut on a fellow like that. But he didn't do it because he was angry with me. He didn't do it even for judgment. He did it actually to save my life. And I think that he did by using that method. And God used it too, by the way. And I think God approved of that method. May I say to you, God will judge. But he does it in an extreme way. He uses extreme surgery, but he does it for the sake of the body politic. Now, he says, verse 18, "...neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath." It's been quite interesting for this nation in which we live. We have spent billions of dollars throughout the world trying to buy friends, trying to make friends and influence people. And I want to tell you, we are hated throughout the world today. And we are not loved. You can't buy love with silver and gold. You can't win people over with that. But we still believe that in this country, that money solves all the ills of this life that money is the answer to all the problems. God says when he begins to judge, silver and gold will not be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy, for he shall make even a speedy riddance of all those who dwell in the land. Now, God removed them from the land. Why did he do that? He did that because he actually loved them, friend. You see, if he hadn't done that, succeeding generations would have had to be exterminated totally. All of them would have had to been slain. For the sake of future generations, God had to move in and cut away the cancer that was destroying the nation. That's the picture that we have. 